Hello again, and welcome to SCLC TV. I'm Maynard Eaton, and of course, our president and CEO, Dr. Charles Steele Jr. This week, we're talking about a letter from the Birmingham jail, and also HBO deletes the Michael Jackson documentary. Dr. Steele, yesterday, you were in Washington, D.C. with Senator Doug Jones, Senator Ted Cruz, and Martin King III. Why? Well, uh, first of all, I would like to say that uh, Senator Doug Jones had this uh, concept and, and a vision that the letter from the Birmingham jail at this particular time with the divisiveness within our country needed to be read, not only by you, myself, and the rest of us who've read it before, but by the U.S. senators who has the influence and hopefully the vision of bringing both parties and by partisanly bringing America together. So it was read on the Senate floor? I heard tears were shed. It was on the uh, Senate floor, yeah, it was emotional from various point of view. Uh, a couple of senators got really uh, emotional. And I was impressed with uh, U.S. Senator, uh, of course, uh, Doug Jones, for having a concept. Not only that, he's my friend for many of years. Also, I was impressed with uh, U.S. Senator uh, uh, Ted Cruz, because not only did he read a portion of the letter, on the floor, he came outside and spent at least an hour with Martin Luther King III and myself and Senator Jones and also uh, Congresswoman uh, Terry Sewell, who was present, and uh, that's my Congresswoman too. And she was there, and she was there on the floor listening, and then she joined us. You think it makes a difference? It, makes, it a difference? makes a big difference to have uh, of uh, all of the, the senators that participated, U.S. senators on the uh, uh, Democratic side and three, three on each side. Uh, I, I don't have to go into all of the names, but the ones who actually participated after it was read was uh, uh, not being a senator, but Congresswoman Terry Sewell, which is very influential. Dr. Steele, in our upcoming issue of SLC Magazine, Juanita Abrathy says we need people on both sides of the aisle. Is this an example? Absolutely. I feel that U.S. Senator uh, Ted Cruz felt something special about that reading of the letter from the Birmingham jail. And I did too. Martin the Third did. All of us did. And the point being, man, it's different when you read it. But then when you're reading along with somebody who's reading it from the Senate floor, it was very impactful. But you agree. We, as an organization and as, as leaders, need... Folks on both sides. Absolutely. You agree with That's that. what Dr. King believed in. Yeah. You have to work both sides of the aisles. And we must realize the two-party system uh, cannot be effective if you're going to discriminate. Discrimination to any degree is bad. And I'm in an agreement with both parties at this time. I'm in agreement with uh, capitalism at this time versus socialism. All I'm saying, let's be fair about capitalism. Let's be fair about the political process. Speaking of being fair, you led the charge against HBO and the airing of the Michael Jackson documentary. You said it was unfair. You said that it just shouldn't be done. Dead man talk. It was dead man talk. He couldn't defend himself. And you're absolutely right, uh, Mr. Eaton. The point being is that here recently in the last few hours, we were notified that uh, through other sources that uh, HBO is going to delete uh, the information. Why? There's several reasons, but one reason I know that we feel a part of this deletion is that we went all over the world with our release on It's Not Right for them to come out and try to dethrone the King of Pop and a man of that magnitude. It was wrong, we all are human beings, but he was an icon and still is an icon in the music industry. Well, just in the last day or two, you've dealt with two icons, Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. and now Michael Jackson. That's our president, that's the SCLC leader. I'm Maynard Eaton, see you next week.